you listed off a load of managers that you played for there, a load of great managers. You didn't mention John Mohan's name. <laughs> no, I didn't play for John that long, so I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't know if he's that good of a manager. <laughs> I played him for a few weeks, but he got sacked in the end. <laughs> he gave you the sack before that, though. <laughs> he did, yeah. He gave myself and four other lads the sack, our, our captain and our all-star footballer from t- uh, previous three or four years. Yeah, he came in and he announced himself to, Ros- to the Roscommon public um, by dropping five of, 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 of supposedly the, the most senior and best players. So it didn't work out well for him in the end. There are numerous counties where this happens, isn't there, where a manager comes in and tries to make a mark. Sometimes it works. I, I suppose you would say that the vast majority of the time, though, it's probably not a great first reaction to managing a team. No, def- definitely not. Like, you're, like, and like old people don't realise the rivalry between Roscommon and Mayo. Like, we hate each other. And I remember Mohan came into the dressing room after the 2004 kind of final when Mayo bet us. And like, he was just strutting around the dressing room. Like, lads were, lads were not, not in a good place, you know, pissed off after losing the kind of final to. Our, 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 great, our greatest rivals, you could say. And John, John came in and he was just blown about how good Ma, uh, Mayo were and what they're going to do and, you know, all this type of bullshit. And I was looking around the dressing room. I've seen a few lads now and I'm surprised Mohan didn't get a belt because I, I, I remember looking around seeing Mixer Ryan, Francie Graham, you know, a few, Nigel Deneen, you know, there was, there was a couple of hard boys there that, like, wouldn't like to listen to that sort of stuff. And, that was sort of the arrogance that they have, and they probably still have me all. They still have that arrogance, I, and I don't mind saying it because I'm great friends with a couple of ex me all footballers, the Mortimers, and they know they know how I feel about them. Great footballers, but that me all have an arrogance that they think they're entitled to to win this or win that, you know. And when Mahan, when I heard Mahan in the dressing room that time, and then you know when he came came to us common, like I I was I was sort of excited that we had a new manager coming in, but it was sort of iffy that it was John Mahan that was coming in because he's only living across the border. And when he came in, he dropped five of us. And like I heard it over, over the radio station in in in, uh, in Roscommon. I didn't hear. I didn't get a phone call. I didn't get a, a, a whatever a message or answer from John. To say, would you meet up? Want to have a chat with you? Like that. That was disappointing. You know, have the balls to to, to ring a fella or meet him and say, I, I was only twenty seven. That you're not. I, you're not part of my panel. And like there was four other players, top class players, dropped as well. Like, and it was done in a way that it was sort of. To me, there was no, there was no real balls to it. You know, I excuse the pun, but you know, it was done. It was it was leaked to the media and it was put out in the local radio station, which to me wasn't good. Did you find out why he dropped you or what the reason was for it? I I didn't find out, but I, I've heard that he he thought I wasn't good enough. That's what I that's what I've heard now. So I didn't hear it from John himself, but maybe someday if I meet him somewhere along the line, he might give me an explanation. <laughs> but I was good enough in 2008 actually three years later so, and I was I was nearly at the end of my career so I don't know why he brought me back yeah you'll have Offaly and Roscommon in Division 2 of the league next year it'll be a nice opportunity oh. to, to, to meet up and watch a game of football oh wouldn't it be lovely to be on the line in that game <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me that, so you talk about that, that Mayo arrogance is that something that, that still exists in Mayo do you think oh without a doubt yeah um, and I, I don't know. It, maybe it's a good good thing. I don't know, but um, I think the field are entitled to win Sam Maguire, and like you, no one is entitled to win Sam Maguire. You have to put in a massive, massive effort, not just over a year or two, but over a long period of time. And like Mayo had their chances over the last couple of years against Dublin, and they just didn't take it. And like I was at these games, and I was with people in in, in Crow Park, surrounded by Mayo people, and like they never sort of said that Dublin is a great team. It was always something was against them, whether it be a referee's call or, you know, an umpire's call or something like that. You know what I mean? And to, like, I, I, I don't, and, and like the Mortimers be the same. They'd be like saying we should, you know, we should be winning these games, you know, and you got to go and win them. They had the chances. They had chances all over the years, all over the last 20 years to win the odd All-Ireland here and there and they never took it. Mm. And you feel that they, there's just not a sense of responsibility that they take upon themselves after those games? Um, well, I'm just talking about, I, I don't know the current Mayo players, but I'm mm-hmm. just talking about say, the fans on, on all Ireland final day. They're, they're yeah. always coming up with excuses. They're, like, they'll never say that Dublin were the better team. Maybe Mayo were the better team on the day, but they didn't beat them. You know, and you've got to go and have the balls to go and win All-Ireland. And 
you know, stop making excuses that there was a, a curse put on the team from 100 years ago or something like that, you yeah. know. That has nothing got to do with not beating Dublin in Crow Park. Yeah, I'm sure some people still believe it though, and I'm I'm sure they're they're thinking it'll uh, it'll pass eventually.